together, we're going to remember that God so loved the world that He sent His only Son, Jesus, that whoever believes in Him will live forever and never die. We are in for a great night. Lots of fun in store. It's all coming your way. Thanks for joining us and welcome to Carol's on your driveway. Good evening and welcome to Norwest Anglican Carols for 2020. It is such a delight to have you here. You are joining us down on the deck uh, at our site in Borkham Hills. My name is Sophie and I'm joined by Elise and Lauren. We're three members of our Chapel Lane evening service uh, on Sundays here at Norwest Anglican and it's a delight to be with you. So whatever your uh, site looks like tonight, whatever your setup looks like, welcome. It's great to have you along. Elise, what do we have in store? We have so many exciting things coming coming up for you tonight. Our music and production team have been working so, so hard to record some of our favourite Christmas carols. So we hope that you have your singing voices ready. We sure do here. We'll be bringing those to you throughout the night. We also have one of our very special friends who is roaming the hills and is going to be dropping in to some of your houses. So watch out. 
We have so much to look forward to tonight and we're so pumped that we can be here and engage with you guys online. Now, if you're here with us last year, we would have been doing carols on the green on site just behind us. However, unfortunately, due to COVID, we can't do that. And we've got you scattered around in your various homes, whether that's on your driveways, in your lounge rooms or on your deck. Uh, COVID has changed a lot of things for us this year, hasn't it? Absolutely. It has been a crazy, crazy year. I don't think that any of us could have expected what this year would be like. And I don't know about you guys, but December is suddenly here. And when I look back on 2020, I stop and I go, what just happened? <laughs> Yeah, I think as a primary school teacher, I certainly didn't think that I could ever be working from home. But alas, here we are with COVID. I had a week of teaching from home, which was an odd week. Uh, and heading to the shops, I couldn't have imagined that I would have been excited about coming home with simply an avocado, a can of corn and some pasta. Exactly. Who would have thought that would be in the shopping centres fighting over toilet paper? Not me. Um, well, what just happened is our theme for tonight as we reflect back on the year that was 2020, but also as we think back to that very first Christmas when King Jesus was born in a stable. So we want to check out your homes and your setup. So we've got uh, our special friend, uh, our youth pastor, Tim Schooler, roaming around the hills in a not so creepy way to check out your setup. So is Tim there? Yes, welcome ladies. It's fantastic to be here and uh, great to be going into your, uh, your lounge rooms, uh, wherever you are around the, the hills. We've had people tuning in from the northern beaches, from the south coast, all over the place. So it's great and keep sending those photos in because we want to hear where you are and we want to come visit you. We're just en route to our first location at the moment, so that's... But I've been thinking as we've been down in the lights uh, of the sun... And so I've been thinking because the, the lights are brightening in my part of town. My friend around the bend, she tends to the task of lighting the night. So we drive by and bask with glee as we see, for no fee, a performance. You know, windows, where the bin goes, it's usually dormant. But tonight there is white on her buffalo lawn. And Mr. Claus breaks laws as he claws. Okay, looks like we're just having a few technical difficulties, so please bear with us. Um, but yeah, Tim is coming around to make a surprise visit. So please do send through a photo of your setup to the phone number that hopefully will appear on your screens um, and also your address as well, so we know where to come to. Um, but we'll uh, check in with Tim shortly. Um, so bear with us, we're gonna go to our next couple of Christmas carols. Yeah, Tony, yep. That's okay. I'll, um, I'll start from the beginning at the next place. That's fine.
God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior, who was born on Christmas Day, to save us all from Satan's power. Welcome back to Carols at Norwest. If you've just joined us, uh, it's great to have you. Uh, we have uh, Tim Schooler, our youth pastor, roaming around the hills. He's just about to start his first surprise home visit. Uh, so, Tim, are you there and where are you? How are we going, guys? Yeah. It's a great setup here in the back deck and... Uh, we're doing very well. Um, who wants to tell us uh, who's here and um, what's, uh, what are we excited about with Carol tonight? Mick, your spokesman. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, well, just excited to be together. Uh, so we've got the Kiteurts, the Kilbridges, and the Friends. Uh, but, uh, and the Halls, yeah, I'm the Halls. And, um, and this is uh, Rod and Anna and uh, the kids. I do know their names, but... <laughs> You know, no, we don't have time for that. You know, we don't have time for that. Time for Professional that. carol singers, I've been told, about the yeah. friends who are visiting tonight. So it's uh, self that's right, self-proclaimed. Yeah, and when they do self-proclaim, that's when we can test if they are professional carol singers. Uh, it's fantastic to be here. I've got some gifts to give to these guys uh, before I leave. But um, I understand that we cut off slightly on the car on the way in. So I'm going to start from the top about the things I've been thinking about. Because I've been, because uh, the streets are brightening in my part of town. And my friend around the bend, she tends to the task of lighting the night so we drive by and bask with glee as we see, with no fee, a performance. In her windows, where the bin goes, it's usually dormant, but tonight there is white on her buffalo lawn. And Mr. Claus breaks laws as he claws to the awning. His reindeer, like cattle below him, are lowing. The snowman above him is glowing and showing everyone as this display is unfurled and cables uncurled. There's a light in the world for every boy and girl. But it's not just the globes and the strobes that show it, it's the story of hope and the fact that we know it. 
The streets are brightening in my part of town. Everywhere around, there's this man in red gown. He's a peculiar man, this Mr. Claus, in all places at one night, but especially yours. It's almost like he reminds us of a forgotten mystery, a story that's been told and retold throughout history. A man whose mere presence can lift our mood, one who visits strangers and shares in their food. He comes in the night because he's meek and mild. To accept him, we need to become like a child. And that's the thing, isn't it? We're too old for these tales. But in a year like this, where everything fails, and what just happened is our weary exhale, we need to ask, what if the children are right? That there really is one who rides through the night, coming to fight the forces of sin, and by delighting us, drive out the sinner within. The streets are brightening in my part of town, but who are they brightening with? That's what I'm thinking about. Back to the three wise ladies at the host studio. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. So great to see people enjoying carols at home, outside, with their drinks, having some food. It looks like you're having a great time. We are having a fantastic time here, and we hope that everybody tuning in at home is too. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing some more of those live crosses, so keep those photos coming in. But we're going to head to our next couple of carols now. We've got A Little Town of Bethlehem and Silent Night. Enjoy.
To us a child is born. To us a son is given. And the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father and Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. Welcome back uh, to Carols at Norwest. Uh, we've had a few photos come through, which has been really awesome. So thank you so much for sending a photo of your setup. Um, we would love it if you would continue to send the photos so that we can check them out and possibly give you a surprise visit. Now we have a few shout outs, so I'll hand over to Elise. We do, we've been getting um, some fabulous photos. A shout out to the Jacobs, to Charlotte, shout out to the Jarvises, uh, Titterton's, Pangs and Laws who are in Jarvis Bay, so that's pretty cool, tuning in from there. And the Jessops, who apparently have a big crowd, and I hear that the Jessops have a pretty cool light set up as well. So go check it out. Nice. That's awesome. <laughs> now, we've got one of our awesome uh, tech team that we're going to invite on over now. Doug, come on in. Hi, come Doug. Come join us here. Welcome. Now, some of you may not recognise Doug at the moment. Can you tell us um, a little bit about what's going on for you at the moment? Yeah, well, actually, Doug couldn't make it tonight. So uh, my name's Wayne. It's really good to be <laughs> with, here with you tonight. I usually work behind the scenes, behind the camera, or moving furniture, stuff like that. That's one of the things this year. I've become a production assistant, which is a really fancy term for someone who moves furniture around. And um, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a really interesting year. I... Um, uh, what was the question? I guess what just happened. <laughs> oh, what just happened. One of the other reasons uh, that I'm a little bit uh, discombobulated being up front here is because these people here are what we refer to in uh, TV land as the talent. Uh, people like me are the non-talent. And so uh, I'm at a little bit of a loss to what to say, uh, which could surprise some people. But um, perhaps I could tell you about the frog who went into a bank looking for a loan. Uh, that's always a good one. Uh, but then maybe not. Maybe I'll go straight to the uh, tagline. Uh, yeah, it's a knick-knack, Paddywhack. Give the frog alone. Here's old man's a rolling stone. So, um, uh, but yeah, it's been an interesting year. Uh, I've got two granddaughters in New Zealand uh, and uh, I haven't seen either of them since October last year, which is pretty hard. Yeah. Uh, one of them was only um, three months old, I think, when I saw her in October. And uh, I'm a pretty old man, despite my youthful appearance. And so it's hard to remember all these things. Once you get past a certain number of grandchildren, you just stop counting. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty hard. But the thing I'm mindful of is, as the government has said, although they haven't said it for a while, but they used to say, we're all in this together. That's when things were going really well with the uh, National Cabinet. I think uh, National Cabinet's not going so well now. But, but we know Gladys and what's her name up north, they love each other just the same <laughs> secretly. You don't want to take what they say about each other too seriously because they really do love each other. They got together in Canberra last week, had a great time, big party, went out for dinner. It was all wonderful. 
Lovely. All right. Awesome. Yep. Thanks, Doug. Okay. Thank it's you. Been a pleasure. Thank you, Doug. Thank you. Thanks for thanks for stepping. Oh, sorry, Wayne. Uh, Wait, yeah, no, Wayne. Wayne. Sorry, yeah. Wayne. Yeah. Okay. Back to the <laughs> town. All right. Round of applause to Wayne. Thanks, Wayne. Fantastic. <laughs> 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 well, we wonder what your what just happened has been like. It's been um, a, a tough and challenging year for lots of people. Um, Lauren, what what's kind of your what just happened? Sorry. We just Wayne had his head. Wayne's had a bit of an accident over there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Lauren. Um, yeah, it's been a really challenging year for me. Actually, I work in aged care, and so just that in itself has been very difficult. <laughs> Sorry, we got, we got guys laughing over here. We've got the cameramen have oh. all. Um, it's great. They giggle good. Yeah, we're all having yep. a great time, and that's what matters. So, um, yeah, so it has been a bit. <laughs> difficult for me this year just working in aged care but um we had our first week this week without any masks and that was good so absolutely thankfully for me I haven't had to stop work there's been um yeah but definitely changes church has been very different having church at home um was really hard for a while um but I think um lots of opportunities as well so you know the opportunity for creativity the fact that you know been able to put together um a live streamed carols event never would have imagined that 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 would happen um, and people have had a chance to use all sorts of skills that um, you know they didn't know they had um, so I think that's been one of the opportunities as well. Mm. Yeah I think on that I um, have been part of the tech team that's been helping to stream uh, church back to home for you guys to be able to share in that so I haven't actually done a lot of church from home whereas most people kind of have been doing a lot from home. Uh, I've been here in an empty auditorium learning a whole bunch of new tech skills um, which has been really great and I've really enjoyed that and uh, getting to know the tech team even better has been, yeah, really special, but um, it's even better to be back on site meeting meeting with you all again. But obviously, Carol's not quite the same, uh, but it is great that we'll have cinema on the green actually happening. So we're going to head to um, a song in a moment. Uh, we've got our next song coming, which is the first Noel, uh, and we're really looking forward uh, to seeing that. And well done to our younger congregation members who have been singing in some of those carols. Enjoy. Noel, the angels did say, watch a certain poor shepherd in fields where they lay, in fields where they lay, keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night that was so deep. No.
Well, welcome to Carol's again. Uh, it's br brilliant. We, we've been driving all over Sydney, so it's fantastic to, uh, to be here. Uh, the streets are brightening in my part of town, and right now we're outside the house of a clown. Sorry, clergyman is the word. My bad. I'm mistaken. If I keep this up much longer, my job might be taken. He's the man we all love, and he's ready to tell us everything we need to know about services this Christmas. Peace, Tedman, Senior Pastor, Senior Minister, Norwich Anglican. Great to be with us. Who have you got here for your, uh, your carols tonight on the driveway or in the backyard? Uh, we're on the back deck. Well, unlike Mick Hall, who didn't know the name of his guests, we actually do here. Well, I wrote them down. So we've actually got Hans and Michelle from across the road. Welcome, Hans and Michelle. And, they're, uh, and their parents are here as well. Uh, we have uh, the Brayleys who live next door to us. Uh, great Welcome, Brayleys. And then we have the Cummins from our 4.30 service joining us as well. They're here with their kids as well. So uh, we've got a full, full crew. It's fa fantastic. Excellent. Very good. Now, you're here to tell us about Christmas services. So tell us, uh, so Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, when, when are the services? What do we need to know? Yeah, so we really want to just extend a very warm welcome to anyone watching, either from Norwest or if you're uh, not a regular at Norwest, we'd love to invite you to our Christmas services and the people you're sitting with now would love to have you come with them. Five services over Christmas. Uh, happy to put extra overflow services on if we fill them all up. So there's three on Christmas Eve, two on Christmas Day. Christmas Eve, a 4.30, a 6.30 and 8.30 or p.m. Uh, and then Christmas Day, an 8.30 and a 10.30 a.m. Now, I understand, Pete, that some of those are completely booked out already. Which ones are those, and how do we ensure that we have a seat for Christmas services? Yeah, so uh, so the tickets are hot. You've got to book your tickets at norwest.org. That's our website. Go there, and even go, go there tonight and grab them. So our 4.30 and our 6.30 on Christmas Eve are pretty much gone, maybe space for one more family. Our 8.30 p.m., the later service there, there's still a fair few tickets for that. Uh, and then on Christmas Day, there's still about 50 seats available at both the 8.30 and the 10.30. We can make more available if they all go, but uh, get in, get your tickets, make sure you can come to Christmas. That's it. Get in quick, get in tonight. Now, we do have gifts for, um, for those who are here, which is exciting. But, Peter, I've actually got a gift for you as well. Right. Um, and so, if we can just sort of... The, the noise behind there is a bit uh, full on. So, so, Peter, if you stick your hand out, you'll, um, this, is, uh, this is a gift for you. Right. right? Okay. <laughs> Not a drop on him. <laughs> but that was the endeavour. <laughs> no problem at all. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> that worked perfectly. Live never, TV. You never work with children or animals. That's what I say. <laughs> Are you the animal? Uh, no, he's around here. <laughs> Thanks, been a good sport. Back to the guys, uh, the girls of the host studio. Oh, that is great, Tim and Pete. Thank you. What a shame, girls. That was a great attempt at <laughs> dumping that bucket on your father. Uh, but uh, keep on sending those photos in. Obviously, we're hoping to come to one more of you guys to surprise you with a visit to your house. So keep those photos coming. That's right. Our roaming rapper, Tim, has time for just one more house visit tonight. So you'd better watch out. You'd better not cry. Tim might just be coming to your driveway. Um, right now, though, we're going to first keep going with one of my all-time favourite Christmas carols, Oh Holy Night. Oh Holy Night, the stars are brightly shining, it is a of our dear Saviour's birth. Long lay the world in sin and there abide until he appeared and the soul found its worth. A thrill of the weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn fall on your knees oh hear the angel Divine, oh 
Grace on earth and mercy my own God and sinners reckons out Joyful all ye nations rise Join the triumph of the skies With angelic hosts proclaim Christ is born in Bethlehem been absolutely loving seeing your photos coming in. We have people tuning in to Carols on Your Driveway from near and far. Shout out to the Roger Rutnams tuning in from the entrance. Uh, the Griggs and the Robinsons from Kayama Downs. Uh, the Lamb family are tuning in from a tent in Coffs Harbour. It's pretty cool. Um, we might have people even internationally, Sean and Minori in Japan. Um, and the Deeths have a bird singing jingle bells. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Nice. And uh, Tim, I uh, hear, is at his final surprise at home visit. So, Tim, where are you? We are at our final house for tonight. We're at the Jessup's house, everybody. Yeah. Very, very excited people here. Jed is, uh, has nominated himself as spokesperson for tonight. So, so Jed, uh, who's come to your place tonight? Uh, so we've got the Jameses from church. Um, we've got the Keatings and the Van der Steeges, which are friends from school. So yeah. Excellent, and it's fantastic to have you guys here. There's, there's, it's a very merry mood here tonight, so it's fantastic. Now, Jed, uh, as well as being spokesperson, you're going to be a gift distributor. So I'm going to give these to you, and you are going to work out who they go to, but they can't go all to you. That's the only thing, right? <laughs> There's plenty of good gifts coming out, so that's a good one. Um, so you can start distributing those, debt, Jed. And the thing is, after that last carol, I reckon I've had the solution to my, all my questions. You see, because uh, as is clear from the Jessup's house, the streets are brightening in my part of town, but it's in the carols where we hear what's profound. Hark the herald angels sing, because this is the thing. There is a newborn king. And if we allow our hearts on him to linger, then peace is ours without raising a finger. He came to a world riddled with disease and with ease because he pleased. He frees us. He sees us sick and sputtering. We fall and we stutter. He bends down to lift us out of the gutter. 
And as he raises us up, he says, you'll be my bride. So we stand at his side. He becomes our pride. With arms stretched wide, he gives a proposal. This is the kind of husband you have at your disposal. The streets are brightening in my part of town. Yes, because children are playing and joy is the sound. And joy is contagious when we all gather around. But this year, don't just gather to eat, play and cook. Do yourself a favor and open the book. From me and from everyone at the Jessops, have a Merry Christmas. So awesome to see to so many kids and adults around uh, celebrating uh, Christmas together. Uh, and a, a big thank you to Tim for all his hard work, um, for his words tonight. Um, we know that he's been really excited uh, for tonight. So thanks, Tim, for that. Um, and can we just uh, reaffirm to you the words that he spoke um, to not just eat and play and cook this Christmas, um, but to open the book. Um, there's so many good things in that book. Um, it's a reason why we sing Christmas carols, um, because Jesus is the true King. And so if you have been invited along tonight by some family or by your neighbours or friends or colleagues, they would love to tell you how they've come to know Jesus. Um, so yeah, please do talk to them. Um, and we'd also love to see you at our Christmas services. Well, we are nearly at the end of the night. We've got one more carol to come, uh, but certainly my highlight of the night has been those live crosses at home. So thank you so much for sending in your photos uh, and thanks to those families who were ready and willing to have a camera crew turn up on their doorstep. <laughs> Absolutely. And we've got a couple more shout outs before the night is out. Shout out to the Mallisons Community Group, I believe meeting at the Huffs, uh, the Hadleys, Thompsons and Nichols, uh, to Brittany and Peter uh, and the Green Trees and the McGinties. Thank you for sending in your pics. It's been fabulous. So it's made us feel much more like we're at, we're at carols. Um, but we've just got, unfortunately, one more song of the night. But I think we may have saved the best song till last. So lift up your voices. Let your whole neighbourhoods hear. Let's sing Joy to the World. <laughs> Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. Sing, sing, sing. We 
Thank you, everybody, so much for joining us for Norwest Carols 2020. We here have been having so much fun, and we really hope that you tuning in from home have had too. Thank you to all who have been watching, who've been singing along, who's been sending in photos, and a massive thank you to all the people who helped to make this night happen. Don't forget about our upcoming Christmas Day services and Christmas Eve services at Norwest Anglican Church. You can head to our website and all the details will be there. You do need to book tickets for that, so make sure you jump on that soon. But from us here at the site, Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thanks for joining. Keep it going. Keep it going. Bye, thank you. <laughs>So I've been a camera operator um, this week, it's been a lot of fun. I just enjoyed the camaraderie, uh, working together with uh, the other people in the tech team uh, and also just seeing um, people using their gifts, uh, whatever they are, whether it's using a camera, singing, playing the drums or an instrument um, and doing that to glorify God and bless our church. This has been an interesting year because we've all had new opportunities to serve and uh, I'm not a hobby photographer or anything like that so I've had to learn from scratch and there's lots of support and lots of encouragement and you know, everyone just works as a team and uh, it's just great when, you know, I, I love singing but I can't do that at the moment so it's just great to be able to serve in a different way. I'm working with Chris and the team on camera and lighting uh, just to make sure that we have the best shots that we can have uh, and so uh, making sure that while Chris is running the switch that the team on camera know who's live and uh, where we're moving in the song so that we can get uh, good shots throughout. Uh, I am the director's assistant so I've just been doing various roles that Tim's assigned me and I've been helping out Joe with the lighting as well. Uh, I do lighting. This is our console. Um, I flash lights. Essentially we're just recording each of the cameras in the system here. I'm actually doing a live mix of what's happening from those cameras and Tim in the room is actually directing to each of the cameras so that we're actually feeding all of the shots in. We can then pull that together into something that hopefully at the end actually looks alright. And then Tony around the corner here has got all of the sound um, pulling from everywhere on stage and doing a great job pulling together all the tracks from all of the instruments and the musicians as they're playing. So this console here is doing the monitors, the in-ear monitors, all the performers have got. And this console here is doing the reference mix and also feeding over here to our Pro Tool system. So I've been doing the project managing of our carols on the e-green Thanksgiving recording. So just the behind the scenes, timing, ordering dinner, that sort of stuff. Um, it's uh, just such a blessing to have so many people gifted in unique ways. And um, here we are, night four, and i um, super pumped, so I can't wait, can't wait to get into it. Me and 
in my trash.